This is Whiskey 5 Mike Alpha Echo, Travis County Aries, Austin, Texas, y'all. We're putting together a coax and connectors class. One of the skills in the West Gulf Division's training program is to be able to solder a PL259 onto coax. <clears throat> Here are some of the tools you'll need to do this job. Good quality soldering iron. This is a Heiko 45 watt uh, soldering iron. The good soldering irons have a high heat capacity and maintain their temperature and transfer heat efficiently to the working material. This soldering iron has a quarter inch chisel tip. Some uh, floss to clean the soldering iron tip. Uh, some folks also use a wetted sponge. Here is a 22 gauge leaded 6040 rosin core solder. This solder is getting a little bit harder to find. Uh, the Europeans decided they didn't care for leaded solder, and for some reason the world is going along with them. The alternative solder is silver-based. Uh, it does not have the ductility of the leaded solder, and so joints made with the silver solder tend to be more brittle and crack or break due to thermal or mechanical stress more readily. This is a super wicking um, copper braid. This can be used to remove unwanted solder from the connectors when you make a minor mistake. This is a good quality pan of ice, uh, quite versatile. Um, however, even this small plastic vise can be used in a pinch and is probably a better candidate for a go kit. Here we have uh, uh, coax cutters. You should never use dikes or a knife to cut coax because it uh, uh, excessively deforms the coax. Coax cutters cut the coax from um, two sides at one time, minimizing the amount of deformity. Here are some small angle cutters uh, or braid trimmers, uh, pliers a knife to cut the coax uh, material and this is a utility knife if you use a utility knife you'll need a new blade and my favorite uh, is a is to use a razor blade however if you use a razor blade you'll need good quality health care to go along with that and a heat gun for heat shrink tubing you'll also need a continuity tester or a multimeter in my case, I'm using a Fluke 115 multimeter. If you don't like the sharp objects, um, you can obtain um, coax prep tools. Uh, this prep tool is from DX Engineering. Uh, there are several manufacturers of prep tools. As far as I know, they all work well. Um, also from DX Engineering is a handy tool that you can thread onto a PL259 connector body and thread it on. Uh, that can be awkward sometimes uh, without using that tool. And if you work with uh, coax that has uh, polyethylene or uh, hard um, dielectrics like RG213, this type of prep tool is also valuable. It's difficult to properly cut uh, RG213 with a knife. And that's it for the tools. Uh, next, we'll, uh, in the next video, we'll solder on a PL259 connector.